Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 19th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours, as it has been very busy. As I posted earlier today, I posted a short... Big, active sunspot regions turning in, producing multiple solar flares. Heads up, everybody. We have some geomagnetic storms on the way. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, you can see those bright regions popping solar flares and strong M-class solar flares as well. Plasma filaments whipping around on the right-hand side there in the northern hemisphere. Look at the last 48 hours outgoing large grouping of sunspots turning away we've seen backside action we've seen earth facing action and as well cresting look in the last 48 hours at multi-spectrum you can see those flashes from the strong m-class solar flares on the left hand side you can see it literally flashing all around the heliosphere of our sun pretty complex plasma filament regions which i noted out yesterday as well coronal holes which are getting ready for an earth-facing event but we've definitely seen an uptick in solar activity over the past month or so multiple m-class solar flares having a look at 171 angstroms these are the nine active sunspot regions five getting ready to turn away and four cresting in as well, noting there, plasma filament destabilization, last few images in a 48-hour period. Much love, everybody, and thank you for tuning in today. I hope you're enjoying the long weekend. Happy Victoria Day. Having a look at space weather conditions, we are under moderate R2. Radio blackout impacts are expected. Space weather conditions seeing an uptick. Having a look here at the solar X-ray flux, you can see strong M-class solar flares. Solar proton flux starting to come down a little bit. Geomagnetic activity, we're sitting at a KP3 for now. Having a look at the highest frequency absorption map, showing those solar flares, giving us a small zap throughout the day. Long duration flare there and strong M-class over the East Pacific. Looking at Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, Aurora forecast for the next day. Watch for this to change for tomorrow night. And then our magnetosphere. This is our pressure planes showing our solar winds going around our planet and emphasizing on the pressure. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at 377 kilometers per second. Notable there, 26.62 density bunches were coming in earlier today from those Earth-facing events. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral, showing a small CME taking off from our sun right at Mercury and giving Earth a glancing blow in the future. 22nd into the 23rd. And then a NOAA space prediction spiral showing all of the geomagnetic activity on its way to our planet now let's get to earthquakes last 24 hours as we've had quite an event multiple aftershocks here through loyalty islands after that large 7.7 .7 earthquake yesterday sending a tsunami watches across the pacific but no tsunami was imminent but definitely needs to be broadcasted here with daily events worldwide as this was a large event 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake as well as seeing activity through the philippines today and indonesia 4.9 there ternate indonesia there are currently four buoys across the west pacific right now that are going into event mode the gulf of aden reporting a 5.7 earthquake here today as well crete greece a strong 5.2 earthquake in the middle of the mediterranean Minor activity through South American plate the last 24 hours, 4.6. Coquimbo, Chile. Mona Passage seeing a 3.4 earthquake. That's west of the Dominican Republic. 
Across the United States, 3.7. Toya, Texas being the largest reported the last 24 hours. Minor activity through California. And Hawaii has been a hot spot today. Large 3.7 reported on the island today at Pahala. Other than that, not too much to talk about. It's been pretty quiet through Alaska the last 24 hours. A quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers across the world. As we've seen an uptick in the last little bit. Stay tuned and notified here with daily events worldwide. We'll keep you updated on earthquakes and volcanoes and everything to do with our planet and space weather. This is the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Sitting at about 220 earthquakes the past 24 hours, according to USGS. Strongest being the 7.7 loyalty islands with dozens of aftershocks. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated and as well the most recent satellite Im imagery around the world. Most recent volcanoes getting updated today. It's been pretty quiet. Looking at Sabancaya in Peru. Multiple floods. As well, Semeru in Indonesia. Popocatito in Mexico. Reventador in Ecuador. And that's pretty much it that they've been reporting here for the past 24 hours for activity at active volcanoes sangay in ecuador being the most the most recent air quality advisories sweeping across the nation as well cold front coming in from northwest territories going to cool things down and moisten things for tomorrow having a look across the rest of the world pacific we do have a typhoon developing north of Papua New Guinea. And as well, pretty strong systems there through eastern Russia. Windy conditions, heavy snow, overlooking Africa and Europe. We do have one tropical cyclone to talk about. Tropical cyclone Fabian is alive and not expected to affect humanity. Low pressure center there, North Africa heading into the Mediterranean. Going to crash with another low pressure system moving in from the east as trade winds have switched in the Northern Hemisphere. Speaking of Northern Hemisphere, look at these fires that are breaking out across Alberta and Saskatchewan. Having a look at satellite imagery and hotspot regions overnight massive wildfire smoke plumes across northern BC and as well northern Alberta. Air quality advisories and warnings are sweeping across Alberta and the Canadian prairies as the low pressure center is moving down right now through northern Alberta going to sweep it all across the nation. Having a look here at satellite imagery Brought to you by Zoom Earth. Showing all of that wildfire smoke pluming into our atmosphere. Across the west coast. And this is really early for all of these wildfires. And I've heard a few of them across northern Alberta were accidental. They were planned controlled burns. But all this wildfire smoke is going to sweep across Canada. Having a look at the air quality advisory here with Windy.com. Showing a pretty large plume hanging around here for the next three days. And then sweeping across the nation. Down into the United States even. Now let's get to weather here. Brought to you by Windy.com. Low pressure center over Ontario right now. Sweeping eastward. Going to bring rain tonight and into tomorrow morning. And then eventually out to the Atlantic provinces and northward into the Atlantic. Alberta Clipper here forming by Monday, Tuesday. Set to bring some relief for Alberta, but diminishing into the high-pressure ridge. 
later on in the week. Low pressure center moving up into Manitoba and Ontario. And then a pretty strong system moving into the Atlantic provinces for long range. Other than that, it's going to be pretty dry here still across North America. Overlooking South America and Africa. Daily evaporation rains through South America in the northern regions. But pretty dry through Central. And a pretty dry week ahead for Africa as well. Having a look over Europe, low pressure center, North Africa, and as well another one, Western Russia. And they're set to join forces and move northward. So gray days ahead for you through parts of Central Europe. United Kingdom getting swept by a huge low in the Atlantic. And here is a forecast model for a typhoon, West Pacific. And it looks like this thing will be tracking right towards China, ending up in the South China Sea by the 27th into the 28th. Stay tuned for daily forecasts here with daily events worldwide. Please don't forget to hit that like button and share with your friends and family all of this vital information for humanity. I thank you all for your support, your love to the channel. Do have an earthquake live stream going? Stop by any time. Come say hi. Leave it here looking at North Pacific. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.